Hey trail riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. I hope everybody's doing well. Our focal passages that get us through the Bible a year are 2 Kings 24 1 through 25 30, Psalm 78 65 through 72, Proverbs 17 11 and 12, Acts 10 24 through 48. Today we're going to be talking about channels of blessing. And our focal passage will come from Acts 10 38, which says, God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power and he went about doing good and healing all who were under the tyranny of the devil. How much spiritual power is projected from our lives into a lost and dying world? If we are honest we will be compelled to say very little. A sign on the door of the electric company stated the electric bell is not working please knock. All our signs making great claims for the gospel are canceled out if the power is not apparent in our everyday lives. The Holy Spirit's power is not confined to delighting the saints with manifestations of the gifts of the Spirit in our church gatherings, but in empowering them for effective witness in the world. We must watch that we do not de degenerate into being simply consumers of blessings rather than the channels of blessings. I recently read about a pastor who had a stream of letters telling him how God was leading people to pray for healing from sickness uh, from the for their non-Christian friends and remarkable things have happened as a result. Some would regard it as doctrinally incorrect to pray for a person's healing if that person is not a Christian. Jesus did it and so did Paul. I feel like that the Holy Spirit is nudging us to say this in the future. One of the ways in which we will see many multitudes one to Christ is by allowing the Holy Spirit to work through us in supernatural signs and wonders. God is calling us to launch out into the deep. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, something within us seems to draw back at the borders of the supernatural. Give us the faith and expectancy, however, to step over that line and demonstrate to others that we are not just a consumer, but a channel of your blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey guys, for further study on this, look at Acts chapter 3 verses 1 through 13, Isaiah 53, 5, Luke 4, 18, and 1 Corinthians 12, 9, and keep these two questions in mind. What were Peter and John doing after the Holy Spirit's coming? And two, how did they respond to the lame man? God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow us here on the Daily Ride, and we'll see, see you on, on the, the next trail ride. ride.